Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about head position and what kind of place you want to be looking and orienting your neck when you're squatting. So biggest thing that I'm going to change is when someone is squatting and their head is hanging down like this. It's just, you're, you're totally relying on the structure of the spine and not letting anything like support it, not letting any musculature support it. So as you come down, it looks something like this. You've usually got a lot of other problems going on and I'm probably gonna connect the, or correct the head thing last, unless it's like, so if you're totally like this, just looking up generally fixes things. So I might, that might be one, one time that I try this first. Um, ultimately, looking up is the cue. You just have to look up the right amount, right? So this kind of lends us into the next fault as well. I don't want you looking up like this. <coughs> I must choke myself. <laughs> I don't want your, uh, your head totally tilted back. I don't want you cramming down all of this stuff like this when I'm squatting, okay? When I do this, turns off my abs. When I do something like this, it makes me crunch. Okay, so those are the two bigger picture problems with this. Uh, instead, like a general recommendation I'm making is I want your head kind of, or your ears, kind of in line with the rest of your body. So as I come down, it looks like this, I come up, and I just maintain this. Now, a big part of this, and something we have to talk about, is the vision. So I need you to be looking at something and fixated on that because that will give your visual system some stability. So what I say is look ahead, focus on one point, don't lose that point, and go. Okay, so something like that. Um, now, packing the neck, where I'm retruding the chin like this, versus looking up slightly. Generally, I'm coaching people into uh, a slight curve in their neck because that is a normal curve. So what I've been showing you is about what I want there, just like this. I've done the packed neck thing where I hold like this, and it helps me feel kind of stable because it helps, the, helps me keep the pressure in my abdomen, helps me keep that intra-abdominal pressure that we talk about so much. Uh, by closing my airway up here so that it can't escape. But is that the goal? It might be. What is this squat for? If I'm squatting to increase my force development and my power development, then, you know, maybe that makes sense. But if it's uh, in the context of agility in a sport, I might need to be able to maintain some of my mobility, not lock it back like this, not lock my mobility out, and keep some of it, keep my body a little bit more loosey-goosey. With the general people that I train, most of them just wanna feel good. They wanna get a little bit stronger. They don't wanna be embarrassed about how they look. Um, for all of those people, you're all getting a pretty neutral curve here. Not a flat neck, but a neutral curve. And it just looks something like this. Again, big thing is focus on the point in front of you. Make sure that point isn't directly on the ground in front of you because then you'll lose your head position. And uh, stick with it.